Hi, welcome to Ray of Sensation. I'm your host, Dan. And in this episode, I'm going to be taking a quick look at The Beast Within, The Art of Ken Barr. Join me, won't you? Okay, so here is The uh, the Beast Within, The Art of Ken Barr. And now there is a companion book to this. It's called like something like The Savage Art of Bob Larkin, I think. And basically what these two books are, um, are looks at people who've done a lot of illustrative work for comic book covers, magazine covers, book covers, and movie posters, you know, pop art kind of stuff. Um, and these are from, uh, uh, it's, it's SQ Press, right? SQ Press. Um, and I think the SQ comes from one of the, yeah, so, so here's the publishers and Sal, and I won't even try and say his last name, but uh, that's where the SQ comes from, I believe. Um, so Ken Barr, you might not know his name, but uh, you'll recognize some of his stuff. Um, like I said, a lot of paperback covers. Um, he did covers for the Black and White, Warren and Marvel um, uh, magazines. Um, and he, uh, he did movie posters. So he's all over the place. Um, you know, he's a guy who's, who's done these, both these books, the, this Ken Barr one and the Bob Larkin one are much, much too short for the amount of great work these two guys have done. Um, I mean, not every picture they've done is, is to my taste, but they did a lot of good stuff. And, uh, but these are incredibly short, but they are pretty inexpensive. I think, I think they might still both be in print or readily available. And the, you know, the cover price was only $14.95 and uh, you can get used copies often for even less than that. Um, so let's look through this real quick. Uh, here's a little background on Ken and, um, and here's some of the, you know, there's a, that one of my favorite creepies, the one with the Yeti. There's a Marvel's Deadly Hands of Kung Fu with Chuck Norris on the cover. Deadly Hands of Kung Fu was like half um, coverage of martial arts films, which were the reason they were doing these. And then they were half uh, martial arts things with, um, you know, the master of Kung Fu and, and their different uh, and power fists and those guys. Uh, and there's a, a movie poster, The Wind and the Lion. There's the Rampaging Hulk, which was a um, black and white uh, Hulk magazine. Um, there's a Clint Eastwood poster, uh, movie poster. Um, uh, that also is a black and white Thor. There's the black and white Doc Savage, another uh, movie poster, and then creepy. So anyway, here we go. Like I said, there's a lot of um, science fiction paperback stuff here, especially at this beginning part. Um, you know, so the 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 the, um, the paperback art because it was going to be so small. Don't, it's usually much stagier looking because he didn't have, he knows it's going to be this so small and, and uh, you know, you've got to get the, you got to be more clear with your, your uh, pictures. You know, there's not usually, now this, this is the demon from uh, the movie Night of the Demon, also known as Curse of the Demon. Um, that's, that monster has been ripped off a million times. I think that's a great rip off of it though. Um, I'm always happy to see that. It's one of my favorite movies and uh, one of my favorite design monsters, even though he's kind of portrayed in some shots as by a very weak looking little puppet. Um, there's the original Enterprise crew. Some more sci-fi book covers. Some pretty good ones. Um, I'm trying to remember where this cover's from. I I think this might be from a paperback too. I don't think it's from uh, from one of the magazines, but I, I could be misremembering. Um, wow, <laughs> that was one. That's one action-packed cover there. Uh, terrific. <laughs> uh, here's some of. The, see, I think this. I you know this doesn't look. 
like the Doc Savage haircut, but I think that might be from a Doc Savage too. Uh, but there's more of the Doc Savage cover uh, cover pictures, you know, and that's more like that weird hair that Bama uh, came up with, James Bama came up with. And when there's, I didn't know Doc Savage. Doc Savage has a, a belt buckle with his own name on it. <laughs> Um, and here's a woman dressed with a, a wolf head on and a leotard being attacked by a werewolf. I'm not sure what the story is behind that. That, that might be for one of those Marvel black and white ones. Doesn't quite look like a creepy or eerie. A couple of different Frankenstein ones. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a... Those are nice monsters. <laughs> that, I love that. I love that monster. Dracula, Bram Stoker, an illustrated edition. Nice cover. Nice. Wow. That is, that is pretty over the top there. I like that. I, I had that, that's one of the, so that's the Marvel um, black and white magazine adaptation of uh, Sherlock Holmes, Hounds of the Baskervilles. Uh, there's that Hulk cover in a better picture. There's a, that must be from one of the Savage Tales when Kazar was on the cover. I don't really re know that for sure, but I think it is. Uh, there's must from one of the Marvel vampire books, Blade vs. Moibus. Mor Morbus? Morbus. Yeah, Morbin. It's Morbin time. Um, the Planet of the Eight magazine. Hopefully there's not oh, there's the occasional glare on this. But hopefully it's mostly not. Um, so there you go. Like I said, it's, it's, uh, he did a ton of work. So this barely scratches the the surface, and it doesn't have some of my favorite magazine covers by him, doggone him. Um, so, uh, oh yeah, I think this is, uh, as you can see, they usually do, uh, I guess most of their books are um, kind of pinup based. I like pinup stuff, but I, I don't have any of this stuff. There's, there was too many companies putting out too much stuff. Uh, some of it lesser quality than others. Um, but I would definitely, uh, um, I, to be honest, I kind of like the Larkin book a little bit more, but this is pretty cool. Like I said, fourteen ninety five, and I think they're still available. You can find a used copy cheaper, I think, most of the time. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one.